Oh, Max. Vietnam veteran Larry Wolford moved to St. George with his two dogs, Max and Snowflake, for the warmer climate. But had he known about the lack of acute health care for veterans in southern Utah, Wolford said he wouldn't have purchased his home here. It's turning people, veterans away from moving into St. George because, of, hey, once they check it out, they they'll move elsewhere where they can get good care. Due to exposure to Agent Orange, Larry is now considered 100 percent disabled. He was recently diagnosed with cancer and has been undergoing chemotherapy treatments since October. Larry believes if he would have received routine checkups through the St. George VA outpatient clinic, doctors might have been able to diagnose his cancer earlier. He, he gave me a, a slip to take to the VA to get a a x-ray, a CAT scan, and that CAT scan showed cancer in my throat and in my lymph glands. Wolford said he received much better health care through VA clinics outside of the state of Utah. He's not the only one. During a town hall meeting for veterans, many veterans voiced their discontent with the local community-based outpatient clinic, otherwise known as CBOC. This is the third state I've lived in. I've lived in California and Oregon. They have better VA treatments over there than here. This is the worst I've seen. Medical personnel from the Veterans Clinic explained that while they only provide service for chronic care, veterans can still call and receive permission to see their own medical doctors at an additional cost or travel 300 miles north to Salt Lake Veterans Hospital. But because Las Vegas is closer, many veterans would prefer to travel south. I'm going to go down to Las Vegas. I will get travel pay. If I go to the vet center here for mental health, I do not get travel pay. What Las Vegas uh, basically says, we'd like to help you out, but St. George, we're already fee-basing many of our veterans out, so if they come down here, we'll have to fee base them out. It's a, it's a moral injustice in addition to, I can't afford it. I really can't. Readjustment counselor Bruce Solomon of the St. George Vet Center says he's heard similar complaints from veterans about the veterans outpatient clinic. And so people are unhappy with the time it takes to get an appointment to get seen. They're unhappy at times because there just are too many patients and so they're told we're not taking any new patients now, which throws them in the dither of, well, what do I do? Heated debate was also brought up around types of medication available to veterans and how they are prescribed. I got told I was an addict and I needed to take it off the medication I was on. And the medication I was on was phenobarbital for migraines and hearing voices. It's a no-go. It's not on the non-formulary. It's just plain not on the formulary and not available. If there's some complaints, and obviously there are some issues, are you acknowledging, number one, that there are these issues within your clinic, and number two, what are you proposing as a solution? The key is okay. to meet with a lot of these veterans individually, and I'm happy to do it. Chris God is, is happy to do it. So I think, we, I think the VA is looking at the problem. I think that it moves slow because it's huge. While each case is personal and individual, clinic staff say they will take the comments and questions into consideration. Larry is now in remission. He hopes other veterans won't be faced with the dire situation he was in while waiting for treatment. And while he's decided to maintain his personal doctor from here on out, he said he's not afraid to travel out of state to receive VA medical care. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, KCSG, St. George News.